Another event drawing big crowds this weekend is the Tall Ships Festival in Green Bay. NBC 26's Matt Jericho having a busy night for us, showing us that ships are part of a big weekend of events across northeast Wisconsin. Blue Nose 2 was built in 1963. And for the next few days, this famous Canadian ship, a recreation of a 1920s fishing schooner, will dock right here in Green Bay for the very first time. She's quite a ship. She appears on the back of the Canadian Dime. She's in the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, she's been on stamps and known around the world. Captain Phil Watson will share her story many times this weekend. We certainly have people come a long way to see just to see the ship. And why not? With a rich history, an incredible display, and a festive atmosphere. It's always a very popular event. It draws people from uh, throughout northeastern Wisconsin and surrounding states. The last Tall Ships Festival brought in an economic impact of $4.4 million. It's big for all of the Green Bay area and it's certainly a, a big boost for downtown Green Bay. It could be a boost for all of northeast Wisconsin with EAA in Oshkosh and Packers Training Camp near Lambeau Field, Northeast Wisconsin is primed for a big tourism weekend. But if you ask the people here, this is the place to be. There's great, great uh, variety here and people can see all kinds of ships. And that's Matt Jarko reporting. The captain of the ship you heard from there says high water levels are a concern this year. But he says the Blue Nose 2 cleared the Leo Frigo Bridge by only four to six inches coming in. He says he'll be keeping an eye on water levels throughout the weekend.